we got some top tier one piece news some people might not like it but we got a live action trailer for the one piece show from netflix that is absolutely huge now there are some good stuff there are some bad stuff we are going to talk about it on this video if you haven't seen the trailer definitely check it out because i'm going to be splitting the trailer up i'm going to be showing you some stuff but yeah let's go ahead and dive into it now of course this is the trailer this is not the final look i, I don't know if everything is going to improve from what we got on this trailer but there are some things that at the very least are concerned Learning, and there are some things that I'm pretty much hype about. Let's go ahead and just get the negative stuff, the stuff that I really didn't like too much about the uh, trailer. We're gonna start off with Morgan. We got a little, uh, a little picture of him on the wall. And you know, if you know Morgan, he was very early on one of the first Marine captains that we saw in the series. And he has this metal jaw, right? And man, just looking, just looking at the shot that we got. It almost looks like like it's made out of plastic. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't look great. Now, of course, this is just the trailer. For all we know. When the full episode comes out, it's going to look phenomenal. Uh, now, the other thing I got to tell you, man, the going Mary, I think it's going to give me nightmares, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a shot of both of them kind of side by side so you can kind of see the difference uh, on the live action. It has like this big, creepy smile. I don't know. Some people might like it, but to me, it's a little too creepy. Uh, whereas in, on, on, you know, in the anime or in the manga, it looks like, you know, it looks like a little nice little animal. You know what I mean? I think that's, you know, very, very creepy. Uh, but you know, that's just kind of like nitpicking at this point. I will say, uh, the, the, the boats at the very least from the trailer, uh, they look kind of gimmicky to me, right? It doesn't look like they're actually out in the ocean. It does look like they're on a set. And again, it's just the trailer. So, you know, we might actually get the full episodes, you know, maybe in high definition. And it's going to look absolutely phenomenal. So definitely don't be judging just based on the trailer. Uh, we know that live actions, they definitely do have a reputation of not being great. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have to wait and see. Now, the other thing that I also kind of find, you know, a little funny is the straw hat. I think it looks a little goofy with the straps. Now, I don't think Luffy had straps on his straw hat this early on. Uh, maybe later on on the show and the manga. I believe at a certain point he did have them I don't remember quite well but I honestly think that it's gonna look a little goofy if every time Luffy was gonna fight you know he had to make sure his straps were on tightly because you know he don't want his straw hat to fall off I don't know why they went this route I'm guessing it's because you know Luffy's gonna be fighting and in a live action setting let's be real the straw hat was probably falling way too many times and they're like you know we have we have to take care of this problem just put the straps on you know what I mean but if he has to adjust them every time he's about to fight it's not going to look as cool as like in the manga or in, in the show where Luffy just, you know, he puts it on and his straight hands after that. But that's just, again, a little nitpicking. We're going to see how it looks when the actual show comes out. And I think the biggest thing with the One Piece uh, live action, I think the biggest huddle is going to be like the cringy parts, right? At the very least for me, uh, when, when Luffy did the gum gum pistol, uh, it just doesn't translate well when it comes to live action, right? But I, I really think that's really the, the biggest issue uh, from this trailer, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the stuff that I think were good, uh, or at the very least that got me hyped, right? Uh, we got to see the Sea King, you know, iconic moment from One Piece. Uh, of course, we got a little teaser with, uh, you know, Shanks in there. Uh, I can't wait to see that scene. The CGI for the Sea King, is it the best CGI out there? Of course, it's not, but... I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's like Game of Thrones level good, but let's be real, right? It's season one of One Piece. We don't know how this is going to turn out, right? We don't know how many people are actually going to tune in and watch it. Uh, again, there is a reputation with live action uh, stuff translated from anime. It's fairly negative. So, you know, I don't think they wanted to invest too much into this on the first round. I mean, if it turns out that, you know, season one, does absolutely crazy numbers. People might come back and, you know, they might actually put in the, the budget, like some, you know, Game of Thrones level budget. And we actually see some crazy good looking seekings in the future. Right. But at the very least, the one that we got on the trailer doesn't look bad. I mean, if you think that looks bad, you haven't seen some bad CGI. Uh, the other thing that really I think is going to be great, I think it's going to be the fight scenes. More specifically, uh, Zoro. I mean, we got to see a little sword action with Zoro. I think that looked pretty cool. Uh, I know that the actor, I think he's one of the ones that play like the uh, Ryuni Kenshin. Uh, and I have seen some of his work with swords before uh, on clips, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. And I think that's going to translate well here in the One Piece live action. So I really do think that maybe Zoro, a heck, even maybe Sanji, uh, you know, users that don't have devil fruits. I think they're the ones that are going to steal the show when it comes to the fight scenes because we're not going to get that corny stuff. Like, uh, again, that whole gum gum pistol, even calling out the attack. 
Nah, it just felt corny to me. Uh, it was a little cringy. Uh, so I definitely do think Soro and Sanja are going to be the ones that are going to be stealing the uh, the fight scenes and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, after after this trailer, uh, I expected something a lot worse. I'm not going to lie. I really had zero hope uh, for the One Piece live action. Uh, we're going to see where it goes. I mean, even Buggy, right? Uh, Buggy, I, th I think his whole uh, design... It looks pretty good. I liked it. It looks kind of goofy, but I liked it. it. It looked very well done. So yeah, I'm... I will say before before this live action trailer dropped, my expectations for this were like in the negatives. Uh, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna go in, you know, not expecting the best thing, but I don't think it's gonna be the worst live action ever, right? I think Dragon Ball is probably still gonna be king when it comes to that. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of this live action trailer. Uh, let me know are you hyped for it? Are you still thinking? Are you weary of it? That's the camp I'm in. But like always, you know, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out, boom.